When it comes to folks who are just coming to the Swift platform environment for the very first time, whether that's iOS, macOS, whatever it is, uh, and they're thinking, okay, I want to make an iOS app. Should I learn UIKit or Swift UI? It's a very, very common question. So what is your opinion on this, Meng? Should a newcomer to Swift take up UIKit or Swift UI first? I think that's a great question, and I've received this question a lot as well. And I, I would say that I'm very biased, and you should definitely anticipate the the <laughs> answer for me. But uh, definitely Swift UI, um, and the reason why is because, to me, one of the key philosophy of learning any platform is how do you get to the maximum results in the least amount of steps possible, and Swift UI is the answer to that question, right? Like you can essentially just go to Content View change a few lines of code and you already have whatever it is that you're building right now. And uh, you can use as much a custom layout or something that is, uh, you know, a built-in control such as a navigation view and list view and all that stuff. Um, and all of these things such as the button and all of these things. So it's very easy to get to the maximum results in the shortest amount of time. But um, what I see the problem with a lot of tools is that they also follow this philosophy, especially for prototyping tools. The problem with those tools is that the beginning is amazing. It's like the honeymoon period. You know, you're like, oh my God, this tool is amazing. But then you spend a couple of days on it and then a week and then you realize that they haven't really thought through the whole journey, right? They didn't really brought you all of these powerful things you can do but with Swift UI, and that's what I love about Swift UI, is uh, or anything by Apple, is that they don't just stop at the beginning of the journey, right? Like I'm still in love as much in Swift UI right now as I was when I started, uh, you know, 10 months ago when it was out. So I think that's very important for any platform to follow that philosophy. It's not just to say, hey, uh, we want to have a really great onboarding ex experience or a really great landing page showing this tool and what this can do, but also to say, hey, um, do you think that the people using SwiftUI are going to stick to SwiftUI in, in 10 months or in, in two years, in five years? And I think the, you know, if, if you look at what you're doing right now and what I'm doing right now, I think you know, the answer is pretty clear. We still love SwiftUI. We, we love exploring more and more of the updates that Apple brings to us. And, um, you know, and, and, and that's why I would always, I think SwiftUI is the future. Uh, as soon as iOS 13 uh, is going to be out of the way in terms of requirement and uh, we're gonna have like, you know, 90%, 95% device support, I think, you know, everyone's gonna jump on SwiftUI. And uh, UIKit is still going, going to be important and Swift is still going to be important to support whatever SwiftUI cannot do. And I think that's great that SwiftUI can, can sort of like take the Swift code and make it work and use a lot of the stuff that UIKit can do. Um, and so, yeah, you know, there, there's just no, no way I'm going to go back to, to UIKit after this. I, I, I refer to SwiftUI as the ultimate WWDC framework multiple times because I think it's really perfect for WWDC because you can get on stage and show a handful of lines of code and it just pow looks incredible and of course it's dub dub so it's very controlled sessions there's no one there saying how do i change the table view inset separator sizes which you can't do in swift ui you know or where are the text views or where are the collection views or where are the you know alerts with input text fields and so forth it's great for doing these 40 minutes wow sessions but when you live with it for a while like you said you've got to realize actually there are some drawbacks here, things I can't do in Swift UI currently. Now, of course, you could make a table from scratch if you wanted to, but you, you want to use the real list if you, if you could, but you can't change some things about it, and that can be frustrating, and that's where the uh, emergency backdoor to UI kit would be really, really helpful. Sadly, there isn't one. You can't like say, okay, list this, this bit you can't do. Let me just dig into the table view behind you. That isn't possible. So you have to have you know push to a new screen, which is UI kit and then modify that in UI, then go back to Swift UI for the things that you can't do very easily. That's a little bit frustrating for sometimes, I think. Yeah, absolutely. I'm not saying Swift UI does everything. Um, but what, one thing that it does great at is that it, it allows you to create these custom layouts, which is something that I've been focusing on. To me, you know, creating a navigation view and stuff like that is, is, is easy, but also it's not necessarily what I like to focus on for designers who wish to up their game in terms of UI. Because at the end of the day, um, we, 
when when it comes to launching your app, people will always look for something that they're really passionate about uh, in terms of what you're trying to create, in terms of animations, in terms of like interactions, in terms of concept, in terms of uh, you know new thinking. If you're always 100% always on the stuff that are built in and that looks just like another app or another Android app or another web app, then people are gonna sort of intrinsically uh, ignore some of the things that they're excited about. And I, I think, at least, at least my philosophy is that I should always be able to excite people when I create something. You know, if I cannot, create, if I cannot excite people when I create something, then there's something wrong with me or there's something wrong with the tool or there's something wrong with the environment at which uh, it, it, it inspires me to do that. And so, you know, I, I think um, you're right. It does not do everything, just like any tool. UI kit does not do all of the things that Swift UI can do. And Swift UI cannot do all the things that UI kit can do. And that's, I think, is by design. Uh, some of the things we will miss. Um, I don't know if Collection View uh, will make sense in the future. Uh, maybe they're going to reinvent a collection view in, in a better way. Uh, but what I can say is that right now, there's a way to do it. It's more complex than the collection view, but you can still do it. Uh, but most importantly, you can do very, very custom layouts. And if you look at the course that I, I put out there or the, the tweets that people put out there about Swift UI, including your apps, um, you can see just the range of UIs that you can see, uh, that, that you can find and create uh, using SwiftUI. And I think that's really exciting. Awesome. 